Greetings, unsettled souls. No more music. It's well known that people listen to the first minute of the video first, so for the crying out loud, fine, just listen to this for a minute then. I'll get to the end of the video before the first, it's that damn important. The Nazarenefund.org, the Nazarenefund.org are going to get the Christians out of Afghanistan. What can I do to help? It's so sad. The Nazarenefund.org. What am I talking about? I'll get to it now. Most people listen to the first minute or two. And I hope I can get the import. Fine, that's the important part. Friends, this makes me sick. Catholic News Agency. I'm not even Catholic. Desperate Afghan Christians turned away at airport, a group say. Now, aren't we supposed to be getting the people out of there who are most likely to be persecuted? Who gotta have it? You gotta save this this minority group and that minority group. You do realize that Christians are a minority group in Afghanistan where they can be killed for following a religion which historically is accurate when the religion persecuting them is not. That might not be politically correct to say, but it is correct to say, so I said it. Um, with time running out to rescue civilians fleeing the Taliban, Afghan Christians and others whose names appear on the U.S. government list of qualified evacuees are being turned away at the airport in Kabul, representatives and aid organizations and others told the CNA Wednesday. Well, one of the things that the, uh, the swine in the Taliban are doing is, what's the best way to put it? They're saying we're going to keep our, our best and brightest. We're going to keep our scientists. We're going to keep our doctors. We're not going to let them leave. While some people would say, well, you know, that's kind of reasonable. I couldn't understand why the Taliban would do that. Oh, you can. You could be sweeping the floors at the neighborhood pig farm and suddenly be too essential to leave if you happen to be Christian and they happen to have a chance to get their hands on you. These should be I mean, we, we accept all these people in who are very likely to harm the country when these people are the exact opposite. Followers of the Prince of Peace? No, you can't come in. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. However, you want to cut somebody's head off? Yeah, you know, you need, so you need safety. You need a chance to start over and have a better life. What the hell is wrong with everyone? I was told by contacts from various groups working to rescue those still in danger in Afghanistan, who must remain anonymous, that the State Department, at least at a certain point, was not implementing the lists that they require the organizations to compile, even though they had sent them multiple times. Faith McDonald, her name's Faith, go get it, director of the advocacy at Car Katab Arsmos Global? Catartivus, oh, global, I tried. An Anglican nonprofit group based in Manassas, Virginia, and they told CNA on Wednesday. It seems at present as if no one is getting any priority unless they have some sort of special connection inside the airport. Oh, that's great. I'm bribing already. They haven't even left the country yet. Looming, oh, but Islam is so honest. Looming over the deepening humanitarian crisis is a deadline of Friday for civilian evacuation operations at the Cabal Airport to give way to the transport of the remaining 5,400 U.S. military personnel out of the country in order to meet the target date of August 31st. We all know Groslin Joe. I want to clarify what I said to a minute ago. I do not believe at all that Islam is an inclusive religion. I don't believe that most people are going to harm anyone who follow Islam. Uh, it's, the danger is very high with the kind of people that are going to be coming in from this. But no, I, I don't think that Islam is inclusive. I just think that sometimes the non-exclusivity, I mean, usually, it doesn't turn violent. So, I mean, I don't want to make it sound like I'm painting with too broad of a brush, but no, it's not inclusive. 
According to the White House, the United States has evacuated and facilitated the evacuation of approximately 87,900 people out of Afghanistan since the end of July. However, at least tens of thousands are still reportedly looking to leave Kabul in the coming days. Well, yeah, because they're going to be butchered. I heard some idiot on CNN say, uh, you do realize that there hasn't been a single death. I think it was in political, I'm sorry. There hasn't been a single death under Biden because he's done such a good job with this. Now the outrage is just media spin. People are being butchered in their homes, you don't. Adding to the rising anxiety for Christians and other religious groups whose faith places them at extreme risk of Taliban persecution, aid officials and others told CNA is that the State Department P2 designation for certain priority evacuees does not specifically include Christians or other members of religious minorities. So you don't think that you should have priority if you are not a radical Islamist. When radical Islamists are running the country, You can only get this from a Joe Biden administration. I mean, this makes Jimmy Carter look like a roaring success. It really, really does. The designation currently gives priority to women at risk. Journalists, academics, pilots, and minority populations, among others. Minority populations, but not Christians. No, we gotta help the minorities. <laughs> well, what you, you do realize that white people are the minority in Afghanistan. You understand this, right? That is clear to everyone. You, sometimes you have to spell out the obvious. The U.S. Commission on Religious Freedom, an independent bipartisan U.S. federal government commission, called Wednesday for the Biden administration to broaden the designation to explicitly include. Afghan religious minorities in recognition of the severe risk that they face. Of course. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that if someone, I'm freeing religious persecution in Canada. Or it's pretty obvious they're not. But in this instance, yeah, they probably are. Which means Islam is not going how am I going to say this? Make it clear. Islam isn't going to change what it's doing in regions without force. Those regions with our, which are already tolerant of minorities should be places of havens for them. Because those parts of radical Islam, the other side of Islam, those sections which are in control are not going to be overthrown without force. And that's not force that America can supply anymore. But we do need to be supplying enough muscle to get people out of there. Again, friends, if you want to help that happen, the Nazarene Fund, according to Glenn Beck, they've raised more than $28 million to evacuate Christians. If you donate to that, make sure that you let me know. And if you own a business, I will promote it on this show. And if you have a favorite charity, I'll promote it on the show. If you donate to that, take a screenshot. Let me know about it. That's the smallest thing I can do. Good night, friends. God bless. Thank you for listening to The Correct Views, hitting share, hitting subscribe, and getting a hold of me, you know where, at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com.